grab it here. Thought we'd have a look at um, bipolar transistor gain distortion compensation. So let's have a look. So anyway, now we're back to the situation we were in one of the previous videos. So as you see, this is the yellow one. Is the nice input signal. So one kilohertz, four volts, with the DC offset, uh, 2.8 volts. And then this is the blue one. Is the output signal and as you see it's got quite bad gain distortion and, uh, and um, so what we're living with is that we have this circuit here so one kilo ohm on the base and then five kilo ohms on the collector and then there's no resistor on the emitter and what this leads to is that the is that the um, the gain will be very high because um, you have this hidden resistor, dynamic resistor, in the um, base emitter circuit. So basically, the base emitter simplistically looks like this: that you have a so-called small small RE and then a diode. And this one here is this RE is dynamic, so it varies based on the base to emitter voltage, collector current, and then also not so important exactly on the circuit on the table it will vary based on temperature and then it's on a negative um, gain which basically this negativity doesn't mean that it's dampening effect it means that um, it inverts the signal so as you see in the scope so when it's up then it's down and when it's down then it's up on the output side so basically what you're doing is that when you calculate the gain you get then it's a combination of if you have a resistor on the emitter or it's just RE so in, in this case it's a very very large gain or basically because this small resist the hidden resistor can be like 10 ohms around yeah, somewhere around there and so it means that you have a quite big you have five kilos to 10 ohms and you get a very big gain and then the big gain leads to the fact that you get um, yeah, bad um, um, gain distortion. So anyway, to compensate for this is to to actually make the um, internal RE meaningless. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this 510 ohm, uh, one 510 ohm resistor into the emitter, and um, see if that can help us compensate. So now I'll activate the resistor, so I'll just take away the short. <laughs> so, sorry about that. I adjusted the 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 uh, voltage in the wrong direction. So um now, as you see, that we um, actually have done quite a good job of compensating, if not completely, for the gain distortion. So, you see, it's nearly the same um, uh, signal curve. So, anyway, that's um, using a very. Ba of course, you can do more, but this is the 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 absolute basic that you can do is that you um, have an emitter resistor and um, to compensate for the excess for the little RE which messes things up and then you get quite close to you know, a better um, output signal um, that matches the incoming signal. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, didn't need, did not need to adjust the voltage, it was the um, voltage offset. Because now when you, um, yeah, when you add the resistor then the voltage level comes up. So then you need to actually offset the input signal because I don't actually have a uh, uh, DC blocking resist uh, capacitor on the um, base. Anyway, much better signal. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Uh, merch is available. You can also buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like. The links are in the comments. Uh, all contributions will go towards uh, developing the channel and adding on more projects and uh, I'll see you in the next one.